Hey everyone, Coach Greg here. You press this button to watch this video because you want to know how to make that resolution stick. You've made it year after year after year, likely the same one. Most people do. It's top three. I want to exercise more, lose weight more, eat better. There might be new job finances in there, but it's always the same ones. And there's a reason for that. I'm going to show you in this video why they fail and how to make them stick for more than the couple weeks, which is the trend. Let's not be the trend. Let's be the other half the trend. Stay tuned. Here we go. Okay, let's start with why things don't work. It helps us better understand how they can work and how they do work. So first of all, usually your resolution is made in the moment. A moment like you're at a party, you're with family, you're with friends, you're like, hey, yeah, this year I'm gonna, what? Lose weight, maybe, exercise more, nutrition more, get a better job, whatever it might be. Get off the couch more, because that's a lot of that going on. But anyways, it's usually made in the moment. So there's not a lot of thought put into it. Maybe down in your deep subconscious, there's a reason for why you chose that, but there's a reason you keep choosing it over and over and over. We're going to get to that. Uh, secondly, there's no commitment to these things. Usually making a resolution requires some change, and change is hard. We try to not use the word change because people go, oh, I don't like to change because it's uncomfortable. But think about it. If you want something better in your life, you're going to have to do something different can't be the same old thing so they lack commitment it's easy to do things for one two three four days and go ah it's too hard i quit that's what most people do that's why only eight percent of the people actually keep these resolutions uh why else would they fail it's ambiguous that means there's no depth to it there's no details to it i want to lose weight okay how much by when i want to eat better more often better greens better foods what does that mean? You want to eat without food falling out of your mouth? I don't know. What does eating better mean to you? I hear it all the time. I want to be more nutritious. Same thing. What does that mean? Um, I want to save more money. How much you want to save? I want a different job. I don't like the one I have. Okay. Specifically, what's going to make you happy then? Put some detail on these things. That's why, again, why they don't work. Um, in the fear, there's a fear piece of this. There's a fear of having to give things up. That goes with the change. If you always feel like you start doing something, I'm going to have to give a lot of these things up. It sounded good at the party, but now I don't think I want to give these things up. You don't have to. I'm all about making substitutions, not giving things up. Let's substitute one thing for another. We'll get into that a little bit more. So there you go. So they're in the moment. They're ambiguous. They lack commitment. And there's some fear of change, the fear of giving up in there. So that's our first four top reasons why they don't work. Think about, do any of these apply to you? Think about it. Okay, let's move on. How are we going to make these things stick? Okay, here's how we're going to make these things work. First, let's not call it a resolution. It's used, the resolution means it's a, basically what it's come down to. It's a promise you make to yourself in the moment that you never have any intention of fulfilling. So you're lying to yourself. That's usually what a New Year's resolution really is. It's a self-lie. So let's get away from that. Let's start calling it a goal, something you want for your lifestyle to be better. How do I make my life better this year? Not the word resolution. So let's start with that. Now let's think about it. Why do you want to make the change? Ask yourself why. Well, I want to lose weight. Okay, why? Mm, because I don't like the way I look. Okay, why? Because my spouse may look at me different. Because I don't like the way I feel. Because I don't fit in my clothes anymore and I'm uncomfortable. Because I can't get on the floor and play with my kids. Get deep into your why. Why do you really want that? This, it could just be vanity. I have some clients that are just, hey, you know what? I don't fit in my clothes that make me look good. I want to fit in those. I want to look tight. I want to look conditioned. Get me back in there, coach. I'm like, got you covered. Let's get you in there. So, but we start setting little goals. So be specific. If it's a money goal, be specific. I want to save $100 every month, $1,000, whatever it happens to be. Put a specific goal on it with an end marker as well. So you can track these goals. Uh, secondly, let's get some commitment to this. Commitment requires a coach, an accountability partner, somebody you can go to that can help you ensure that you're staying on track because you're going to have the days when you're not motivated, when things are sliding, whatever your goal is again, you got to have an accountability person. That's well, probably the number one reason people come to me. Well, maybe number two, because I have the knowledge on how to do what I do really well. But then it's the accountability of showing up, suiting up. Oh, I didn't really want to be here today, but you're here. You suited up and now you're getting it done. Check. That's a huge check mark. There's someone there looking for you to help push you through those times. So pick somebody that can do that for you. If you need help, I'm here for you. I'm always here for you. It's what I do. So if you need the accountability, call me, call somebody else, but you got to have the accountability person. Okay. The another one, change your mindset. Let's change the mindset of, oh, I'm giving up things to what am I gaining from this? What do I gain? Because if you, you started this because you wanted to have a 
better life. So better life means you're gaining things, not giving things up. What you're giving up is the old ways, the old habits, the old things that got you to where you are now. Do you feel good? Probably not. You probably feel good about maybe it's weight, maybe it's energy, maybe you're, maybe you're starting to get diseases and things at a particular age. I know I'm in that age bracket, like, holy smokes, where did that come from? Wow, my blood pressure is what? So you gotta start watching these things now. Maybe you just, you just wanna be better, feel better, be a better person, have more money, live a different lifestyle. Whatever it happens to be, again, pick it for you. Remember why you started, and then you're not giving things up, you're gaining things. If you need some help again with that, like, okay, let's substitute this for this. That's what we got to do. You got to make substitution. So it's not always a takeaway. People think, oh, I have a diet. I can't eat cookies. Well, you can. You can eat a different kind of cookie. Or you can, why do you have a sweet craving? Let's get into that and maybe substitute a different food for that. There's a lot of ways around things. I've seen it happen over and over and over again. And people are like, oh, wow. Once you get past that mental hurdle of releasing yourself from the things that are holding you down, that's when you can excel. Release them from the old things to get to the new life. So there's your four for that as well. So coming up with a summary, I got a bonus for you. If you're still hanging on, I got a bonus for you. So hang on for that in just a minute. Hang on for the conclusion of this. We're coming up next. Okay, let's wrap this up, guys. So the resolutions don't work because they're called resolutions. That automatically is a negative stigma that thinks that's not going to work. Media says it. Everybody says it. They just don't work. So what we're doing is we're creating new life, new change for ourselves, positive change. I want you to write it down. Power of pen and paper is amazing. Write it down with a pen and paper. No, you can type it if you have to, but write it down. Don't just think about it. Detail. What do you want changed? Specifics. When do you want it changed? Put milestones in there. Who do you want to help you with these to help you be accountable? Shoot me an email if you want my help. Call a friend. Call a family member. Whoever you know will be there for you because you're going to slump. It happens to everyone, but that's the point. The people that are successful are the ones that push through the slump, and that's why you need that person. So details, get an accountability person. You're amazing. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you. Um, I'm gonna make a better effort this year to bring you greater change videos. So whatever you wanna see, give me a comment down below. How can I help you this year be a better person, whether it's health, nutrition, mindset, emotional health, let me know how I can help you. Give me a comment, give me a like on the video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos. There's probably another one coming up here. If it's a fitness one, step out right now and go crank it out because it's gonna be four minutes long. They're time saver, no excuse workouts. This is a great time to start with the change, right? All right, until next time, be fit, be strong, be empowered.